Alright guys, you know, I've always said I hate when shit breaks, constantly. We're back at the GT1848 wor wheel horse, or workhorse I should say, automatic. This is the one I rebuilt last year. You guys probably have seen, I don't know if I put the video up or not, uh, the video about me rebuilding it, uh, putting a bush in a starter. Well, I split the gear. Okay, that ain't bad. Fucking blew the bushing right out of it again. And there's metal shavings inside the casing. So, really don't have the money to fucking blow, so guess now my leaf vac system ain't gonna run now. I had to go on and buy a fucking hundred and seven dollars out the door. A new damn starter, guys. Um, r region of origin? I have no clue. I was looking for it. I don't know where it's made made at. But this re replaces the 14 to 24 horsepower for the Pulse Twins engines. The Pulse Twins. I've never heard of a 14 horse Pulse Twin before. I've heard of a 16. Never heard of a 24 either. I've heard of 16, 18s, 19 and a That's the biggest I've heard of about of Pulse Twins. But the part number is 497596. My local Royal King had this in stock. Yeah, there's the part number. No play in the shaft, that's good. Um, I did open up at the store to make sure that the starters were the same, the starters are the same. There's no clock difference, there's no nothing, guys. Exact same starters. So, but I did not read the little pamphlet booklet they give you. But... Yeah, it's just basically telling you what to do before you install it, but this starter is a prick to get into. You have to take your side cover off and your front cover off, and then hopefully you can get into it. The bolt sits right here. The back bolt's a uh, prick to get in, but you want to take your bolt... Take your bolt, put it into the starter. The back part of the starter first. If not, you'll never get it in. Okay, this one links. All right. Now, since you get that in, uh oh, oh, there we go. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. There we go. Gotta make sure you you uh clear your face plate for your backing plate for your flywheel. And this is not the only problem I got with this router, guys. I got an interesting problem that I'm going to have to figure out how to fix. And I mean interesting problem. So it's just not this problem. The starter held up for a year. I knew it was going to last more than a year. But the interesting problem I got it's when it, it idles fine, it throttles up fine, until it gets hot. When she gets hot, it starts uh, surging. It's pretty interesting. And then when you pull the choke, when you pull the choke, the it'll stop surging. So I'm assuming she's running lean. I'm going to point to a lean condition on this. And that's what I'm going to point to, guys. It's a lean condition. Right now, I'm having problems getting a bolt in. Okay, if it wants to be this stupid, let me snag up this bolt then. There, now it can't move. 
And it's a prick to get in here without taking the flywheel off. Would I suggest doing it? No. If you don't have small hands like I do, small fingers to get into that, then I would I would suggest busting this off. But if you got a kid, your kid or grandkid or neighbor kid or somebody's got small fingers to get in there and get that bolt started for you, that's the perfect way to do it. Like my dad, he's got big hands, so there won't be no way he could ever reach this bolt. A lot of garages, the reason why they charge your normal leg to put a starter in these riders, because they'll just take the time of taking the flywheel off. I have had never had this flywheel off. It wouldn't be a bit surprised if the keyway sheared. Could be part of why it's running crappy. No, I should I should take it off and see what exactly is going on with it. It should take the nut off and see where the flywheel's at. And see if it's sheared and keyway. And just uh let's see Thursday? Is it Thursday? Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. I just put a brand new it's aluminum so don't go over don't go hurrah on it. Wednesday I put a set of brakes. They're not OEM brakes, but they're brakes plugs. OE, there's two different styles of OEM. You got standard brakes and you got OEM brake plugs. I just put brake plugs in it. So yeah, I noticed it running a little bit better, but starter dropped out on me. Um, inside this box, guys, there will be a nut. Right there. That nuts for your wire. It should be. I don't remember what it's. Shit. I gotta get on the other side, guys. Give me a second. There we go. Couldn't get it on the stud. Think eleven sixteenths. Okay, eleven sixteenths, eleven mil. Let me grab eleven mil. So we're going to get the starter back in guys and get the battery on and we're going to hit this key and see if this, bat this battery is actually dead or if it was just the starter hanging up. Alright, there's that. Just give me a second, you guys don't need to see a free moron hooking a battery cable back up. Just make sure you do disconnect either your positive or negative on the rider. You don't want pretty sparks to be going flying. I unplugged my negative. It was easier, closer to me. And for those who are wondering, this rider does carry all of the safeties. PTO, brake lever safety, all that safety, all works on this rider. I have not bypassed it all. I will not bypass any of it. So 
So, check that out. Choke in. Sounds decent for a rider. It got pretty warm pretty quick. One thing I am going to be doing to this while well, I'm putting this back this cover back on. I have a booster fan off from an old motor that I got in. It's just spare parts pretty much. You're going to put a booster fan on this, guys, and we're going to hopefully, I'm hoping it'll help boost the co uh, airflow. See if I can help, if I can help the airflow out on this motor any. If, uh, if it was getting too hot, that would cause the lean condition, because basically it means it's vapor locking going down in the yard. That's a good possibility of what was going on. The vapor locking cause it cause it to give it a lean condition. Cause being honest, I've never seen a brakes in my life to ever have that issue that I'm having now. Cause I know colors are known for that issue. Uh, not brakes. Brakes are not known for that issue unless you decide to mod them and start hopping on them and crap. But brakes. Very rare ever create that. Uh, how can I put it? I know it sounds kind of stupid what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how to explain it better than that, guys. Uh, like your your little five and a half and six and a half horsepower brakes, those are known to create that issue but I'm saying for these composed twins or overhead valve engines any of these style brigs are not really known to have this type of issues they're normally a smooth running rider until they get some mileage, mileage behind them and they start uh, they start uh, doing a Harley shake to them as I call them I call it a Harley shake, but my dad's ride will, will shake you to death. Why it does it, I have not figured out why when you get some hours behind it, but I just know they do it. It's a common issue. It's a very common Harley shake that they do. They don't hardly shake when they hit over 4,000 hours. Well, more than that. That rider's got to be pushing 10, 15,000 hours for right now. And if they're not doing a Harley shake at that state, then you don't have real bricks. This one's pushing. I think the owner told me on this motor, this motor was pushing almost 10,000 10, hours. That's a lot of hours on an engine. You guys may not realize that, but that is a lot of hours on the brakes. I mean, you guys got to realize 
That's a lot of hours. 10,000 plus hours on a rider. Most normal is only like 400, 400 to 1,000 hours. Some of them are pushing 5,000 hours. 5,000 hour tractors, they're still young. When you start hitting 10, 15,000 hours, you're, you've got an old tractor that the motor's probably ready to be rebuilt. But if they're well maintenance, then they'll last forever, guys. I mean, I don't know how to explain any better than that, guys. They're well maintenance, guys. These brakes can hit high mile, high hours. I've seen a couple of colors. It's very rare for colors to ever hit over a thousand hours, but I've seen a couple of colors at work. When I was working for him, an old gentleman, anytime that rider sneezed, that rider was in the shop getting repaired. Literally, it was That rider sneezed, it was getting repaired. And I think before the, what happened to it? Ah. Uh, at 10,000 hours we had to drive, pull the engine and put brand new a brand new oil pump in it which that was fun trying to find an oil pump for that year of a motor we had to put a brand new oil pump in it at 10,000 hours he brought it in at 5,000 at 5,000 hours and at that state of the game the engines wore but it was still running it just smoked a lot, and I mean a lot, guys. At that state of the game, at 15,000 hours, that motor wore out. But the guy took darn good care of it. The guy asked me what what my opinion about that motor, about that uh, color, and like I told him. It says you can't go wrong with as many many hours you got on that motor. I tell him if it was me, put the money in and re-ring it. And that's what that gentleman did, guys. I told that gentleman to re-ring it. That's what I would have done. And that's what he did. Told him re-ring it, put new rings, piston, connecting rod with wrist pins, and that rider, I see him, he comes over to the house about every year, he has me do his tune-up on it. You know, I'm taking the garage because the garage that took over now are nothing but idiots. So he brings it over to my house. I should be seeing it in about a week or so and gonna do a do a tune up on it for him. And I got something sad, I don't think these has any um holes in it. Since I'm here I might as well spray that nut. So I'm gonna cut you guys off because you guys don't need to see me take something off. Catch you guys in a minute. Alright guys, got the booster fan off. Not the best looking booster, but <clears throat> see if we can even mount this. Oh! Need a spicer, guys. Need a spicer. Damn, guys, need a spicer. Spacer style, size of a nut, the size of a nut work. Nope. 
How about a couple washers? I'll try one for now. Uh, looks like a nut and a washer will work. Let's experiment, guys. I'm just experimenting right now. I just want to see if this booster, I was told putting a booster fan on this would help. I just want to experiment, guys. I have my sure doubt that it's not going to work, but how are you going to ever find out if you never try it? You know? I just want to see if it actually works. But I don't want to get it to rubbing on this crap over here. But I don't want it to be doing. I don't want to tear this all up. I'm going to have to space it out just a tad bit more. Keep it from rubbing. That's just a test, guys. I, it's not a critical if these bolts don't really grab a hold of it, but because if this works, then I will. I will get new bolts for this, longer bolts. Why is it hitting? It's sitting right there at the bottom.
going in clockwise motation so these ain't going to loosen up. I just checked it. So we'll catch you guys back later when this sucker acts up. Okay guys, here is the carnage. Destroyed that right there. Kind of focus. Split this brand new gear I put on it. Destroy the inside and split it. Uh, one thing I found. I don't know if this was part of the spacer. I don't remember, guys. But I found that in the in it. I am not taking this open, so I do not know what it looks like inside yet. Because this is where I bored it out. It looks like it egg shaped it. Does that look like it's egg shaped? Get my mic and mic and make see. But I think up there on the top by that star, it looks, says 96 on it. it. Looks like thinner and thick. So, where's my spacer? Yeah, it wore the hell right out of that spacer, didn't it, guys? Holy shit, guys. Probably metal shavings all inside of it. trick to know about these guys get a on these starters get a seven uh, seven eighths socket Seven eighths, guys. Get a thirteen sixteenths, guys, and just push it just like that. Shit. Well, that was supposed to work like that, but the magnet's very strong. Holy crap. Well, I guess that didn't work my plan. Well, what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to keep all your brushes in the hole. So you didn't have to fight with trying to put your brushes back together. But I'll show you guys how to do this. Because the starter is still rebuildable, I think. It's a prick, guys, to get this all back to line. Well, what I'm doing is trying to fight with four sets of brushes here. There. And that's what you want to do. When you pop it out, just... Just remember when you're going to do it, pull the freaking cap off the back 
and now with every brush it's a stain. Cause it looks like my brush is still good, so it's got a little black on them. A little heat damage, I don't know. It's got a little black. The armature doesn't look too bad. It's got a lot of metal shavings on it. Just depends on how much that shaft wore down. Might not be rebuildable, guys. That's what I'm afraid of. There's a lot of metal shavings inside that starter. On those magnets. So I don't think the starter is rebuildable. A lot of carnage. A lot of damage. Yeah, it's not rebuildable. Right there where the... See that shiny spot for the... Uh, armature was smacking the magnet so it's shot so that's carnage that's what happens when your starter blows up on you so catch you guys later then I, yeah yep so carnage catch you guys later then bye